Butler from Minden, Massachusetts, and I thank you so much for this trophy. Thank you. Did you have fun out there today? Yes. You like playing basketball? Yes, and I thank you. Are you glad you beat the police today? Yes. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, it really is the highlight of our season as, uh, you know, the season begins in November, extends a few months, and the, the, with all of the community games we play, with the uh, state games that we get involved with, uh, really the highlight of the season has always been and continues to be the game against the Hopkinton Police. Uh, it's a wonderful town-wide event uh, with great support from the community, and the police have been over and above in their efforts in uh, working with our athletes. It's wonderful. Now I know all the kids have a really good time out there. Uh, how long are they talking about this game uh, leading up to it? It's, it's pretty much all they talk about uh, since uh, December rolls around because they know as the season progresses that the end of the year is going to be their big game against the police department and they're always very concerned about maintaining the winning streak that we always seem to have. So the kids are from the beginning of the season, but, but it really, the energy ramps up around the holidays. Absolutely, now the police uh, they came out on the short side once again. They just can't seem to get a break. Indeed, they can't get a break. Uh, I, as, I've, as I've told Chief Lee, he's gotta get these guys to be a little more active playing basketball because it's, it's a little, it's a tough sport to play if you don't play it regularly, which is why it's always a, a tough game for them against our athletes. Uh, this is a great uh, uh, game that we have with the kids. This is our 10th annual and uh, I actually think it's 11th because our first year we didn't do the pizza party. We had a magic show after so and then uh, Dino's decided that they wanted to donate the pizzas and TJ's donated salads and cookies so it's a, it's a great uh, function for these kids and our guys at the police department love it. We look forward to doing it every single year and we hope to continue it. So. Now this event always uh, looked forward to uh by the Special Olympics and the police, they must really look forward to this as well. Oh yeah, yeah, it's a challenge. We lose every year, but you know, uh, we'll have to work on our athletic skills, you know. So, uh, uh, continue to do it. Well, hopefully next year we'll be here again. And uh, May 14th, we have a fishing derby for the kids too. So, and that will be down at the Hopkins Sportsman's Club on Lumber Street. Excellent. So, are, is it going to be more basketball practices to maybe actually win a game one year? Or? Yeah, we have to. We'll have to uh, some of the uh, hiring at the police department that, that may have to be part of the interview. You know, maybe we'll have to get them out on a basketball court before they get hired with us. So, and we might have to go with some height too. Well, as they always say, there's always next year. It's always next year. We say that every year. Thank goodness there is a next year. All right. Thanks All right, a lot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Chief, uh, another great year, the annual Special Olympics vs. Police uh, basketball game. Uh, unfortunately, you guys came out on the short end of the game today, but uh, can you talk about the event? It just uh, seemed like a great atmosphere out there. Oh, it's a great event. It's now it's the 10th year. It's my third that I'm uh, proud to be uh, part of, but, you know, I just would like to win one year, that's all. <laughs> they play hard, and they're good. They're real good. But uh, we've got a few new rookies on the... Uh, the apartment this year thought that was going to bring us a victory, but just wasn't in the cards. <laughs> now, Officer Powers had a good idea. Uh, he said that maybe you should have basketball uh, involved in the training or part of the uh, recruiting for the uh, new guys coming onto the squad. Absolutely, that's a great idea. I'm going to call the training council and see if we can get that in the uh, recruitment process. <laughs> Uh, now, are you guys okay? I mean, it was two tough losses this year. You, you lost the big bocce matchup to the fire department, and you lose here today. Yeah, that, that, that loss to the fire department, that, that's under protest. <laughs> well, the same guy who blew that for us uh, missed five baskets today, so he's not involved in any more of these 
events. <laughs> That's off the school field. <laughs> Uh, now, is there going to be another bocce matchup coming up? Oh, I know yeah. everyone's looking for one. We're going to get some redemption. <laughs> Can't wait. All right, Chief. Thanks Thank a bunch. You.